Universal Yums box today. Well, I didn't get it today. I've had it for a little while, but I am gonna open it today. Yay! So I think this is December's box, I think, and if I'm not mistaken, the theme was the UK. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is so super cute. Okay, so December 2015 United, United Kingdom theme for the box. How adorable is that? And wait, there's more. So we have the information card about everything that's inside the box. And then the tissue paper inside, it got a little kerfluffled, but it is the Union Jack flag cut out of the tissue paper. How stinking cute is that? I love this box. Okay, so we have our pamphlet here, which has information about what is inside the box. Season's greetings from the UK, UK trivia, which is super fun, and all the information about the products inside this box, which I will keep this aside for reference. And what's the last page? How to speak like a Brit. They say bits and bobs. It means an assortment of small things. For example, my grandparents have a lot of bits and bobs around their house. And in America, we say tchotchkes or crap. Ooh, and the clues to the next box, but we will get to that shortly. So I have my cheat sheet here so I know what everything is. Okay, this is cool. The packaging on this is really neat. So we have a bag of Meanies pickled onion flavor made in Ireland. That looks pretty cool. It says pickled onion flavor maize snacks. And maize is another word for corn. So I'm guessing these are like pickle onion flavored Cheetos or like cheese doodles. So let's get into this and then we shall read about it. Oh, these are cool. Okay, so they like, they're shaped funny. They look like little monsters or something. Or little hands or feet or claws or something. I don't know. They smell weird. They smell like pickles. Mmm, mm, these are good. They've got that tang of the runaway tissue paper. They've got the tang of the pickle, very mild onion flavor. They're super crunchy. Um, they're not hard or they're not super soft. They remind me a lot of Funyuns. These are very, very good. I'm gonna eat another one. All right, so our little booklet says the KP Minis Pickled Onion. Don't be scared of the giant monster claws. This snack is the Dev devilous, devil, this word is blowing my mind. This snack is deviously delicious. This word's kicking my butt. Okay. With a slight sour pickled flavor and a strong onion taste, you shouldn't be scared of eating them. What you should be scared of? Someone eating them before you can finish the bag. And let me just tell you, I'm going to eat this whole bag in one sitting. This is delicious. I love those. Those are really, really good. Next thing we have is Tato. The People's Choice Cheese and Onion Flavored Potato Crisps. They call them crisps instead of chips over in the UK, which is pretty cool. So these are cheese and onion flavor. Let's try these out. And they look like just regular potato chips or crisps. Mmm. Their cheese flavor is so much different than our cheese flavor. Theirs is like, I don't know. These remind me of something that you would get at like a carnival or a fair. Like the flavor, like the, the cheese flavor. These are really good. And in our pamphlet, it says cheese and onion tato crisps. If you're planning to kiss another under the mistletoe, you might want to do that before you eat these cheese and onion chips. When the UK says onion, they mean onion. Cheese and onion is the most Popular flavor of chips in the UK, the Tato brand from Ireland is considered by many to be the best brand of crisps. Fun fact, these chips are made inside a 500 year old castle. That is freaking cool. All right, the next thing I see in the box I have to grab because I'm super excited about this. We got Jammy Dodgers. I love these kind of cookies with the jelly in them and I have never had a Jammy Dodger before so I am so excited about this one. 
And they're basically, I believe they're basically just um, little cookies with jelly in them. So let's open these up. <gasps> they're so tiny and cute. Look at how tiny they are. They're like little cookie sandwiches. Mm. These are so good. So good. And they're raspberry flavored. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. They are shortcake biscuit sandwiches with raspberry flavored jam in the middle. And they are so good. I wish this package was bigger. Like Costco size bigger. These are really, 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 really good. And in our pamphlet, it says Jammy Dodgers. These are pretty much the quintessential British biscuit. Made in Wales, these cookies consist of two pieces of shortcake sandwiched together by a deliciously sweet raspberry apple flavored jam. Jammy Dodgers are the number one selling biscuit for kids in the UK, although adults eat 40% of the cookies sold. As if Jammy Dodgers couldn't be any more British, turns out they're also a favorite snack of Doctor Who. And that's where I first heard about Jamie Dodgers, was because the doctor loves Jamie Dodgers, and I had to have some, so I'm super excited about that. Yay! Okay, the next thing, we have a couple more things in here. What's this? Fry's Turkish Delight, which I just kind of pulled the package to read it, and it opened. Okay. Um, but it's Fry's Turkish Delight. And if you've never had Turkish Delight, it is a very different flavor. Um, I have had Turkish Delight, and it is so good. Um, I don't know if I've had this exact one, though. It's already open. Let's go ahead and take a nibble. Mm. So it's got, like, this jelly filling. Um, it's basically like a jelly completely covered in chocolate. The chocolate is amazing. The jelly is what makes it so different from other, other chocolate bars because it's like a floral flavor. Like if you eat flowers, it's floral. And I believe it's a rose flavor. Don't ask me how I know what roses taste like. Fry's Turkish Delight. Though its resemblance to real Turkish Delight from Turkey is faint, this chocolate covered concoction is just an exotic is just as exotic as a treat from the east. Bite into the thin milk chocolatey outside and be surprised with an aromatic, fragrant rose flavored filling. I was right, it's rose. This unique Cadbury chocolate bar isn't something that's found every day. In fact, in many households in the UK, it is a once a year holiday tradition. Perhaps it will become part of yours. And I definitely have to agree, this is definitely not a chocolate bar that I would eat every so often. Um, but as a like a Christmassy holiday little treat, I think that's it's very good. I definitely highly recommend you try it if you've never tried anything like it it's it's different all right next thing we have is it looks like we have a pack of chew -its and they are black currant flavor black currant currant flavor currant i just say currant chew it and bin it that's what it says on it, it says chew it and bin it they are chew -its. and it's got like a really cute little dragon cartoon on there i don't know if you guys can see that a cute little dragon on there super cute and I'm guessing this is like a bubble gum all right so let's uh let's let's take in a take a nibble of this so when you get the package open it they look kind of like little starbursts they're just individually wrapped little candies um so we will get that off and their wrapping is so stinking cute because it's got that adorable little dragon on it I don't know if the dragon has a name kind of like our characters like Chester Cheeto is our Cheetos guy, or Cheetos Cheetah, and he has a name. I don't know if the little dragon has a name. If you know if he has a name, maybe British Geeky Guy can tell me. Does he have a name? Does the little dragon have a name? Because I am super curious, because he is so cute. Oh my god, this is really gooey. I'm trying to get like Laffy Taffy out of here. So it says chew it and bin it. So is this bubble gum? Ooh, definitely taffy, like Laffy Taffy texture and consistency like really chewy the flavor is not bad yet we'll see oh my god it's gonna be 10 hours of chewing so let me just read this real quick the black currant chew -its. there's a couple things that separate this fruity chewy candy from their american cousin starburst 
One, they're from Ireland. Two, they're made with real fruit. Three, the real fruit they're made with is thoroughly an English one, the black currant berry. They're all one flavor, so there's no fighting over who gets to eat the red ones. I think they're taffy because it's not turning into a gum. It's just getting stuck in my teeth. But that flavor is really, really good. Next thing we have, a little piece of cardboard that fell off the box somewhere. We have drumstick. Oh my gosh, this is hard as a rock. No artificial colors. Drumstick, raspberry and milk flavored chew bar. Okay, it is literally. This thing's hard as a rock, guys. I'm gonna like pull my teeth out. Ooh, okay, so this is another kind of taffy, I guess. I can't get the packaging off of it because it's sticky. All right, there we go. Okay, oh, that's interesting. So half of it is like a milk chocolate color or a, like a white chocolate color. Um, and then the other half is like a strawberry color. So that's pretty cool. So it's two, two colors. And it says raspberry and milk flavor. So it's not strawberry. Raspberry and milk. Can I break off a little piece of this? Oh my God. Oh my God. No, this is like legit taffy. Look at this. Ta-da, twisty. Okay, let me just take a bite. Ugh. Oh my God. The flavor is very, very good, but this texture is insane. This is like, do you see how hard it was for me to bite a piece off? Holy cow. But once you get a piece, you just suck on it instead of chewing it, and you're not gonna pull your teeth out. Yay! So it's called drumstick. And it says in the pamphlet, Swizzles Matlow Drumstick Chew Bar. Oh, this is a long one. In 1928, a couple named Alfred and Maurice Matlow began making jelly candies in London. 90 years later, their small operation has turned into a small candy empire called Swizzles Matlow. During World War II, the candy company was forced to switch from making candy to making water purification tablets for the UK Secretary of Defense. In the 90s, Princess Diana of Wales visited the factory and a special candy was created for her. More recently, the band One Direction partnered with Swizzles Matlow to create a one-of-a-kind lollipop featuring each band member. Unfortunately, there is no confirmation yet on whether the inspiration behind One Direction's hit song, You and I, is this raspberry and milk flavored chewy candy. That's very interesting. A lot of background information on that one. All right, and then it looks like the last few things we have in the box are some little tiny candies. Um, we have some toffees, which I love toffee. And we got two of these little red candies, and they say Oatfield Sweets. So I don't know what these are, but these are toffee, and I love toffee, and I want one of these. These are Walker's non, non such. Is that what that says? Non such. Treckle toffees? Treckle? Treacle? Treckle? I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, they're little toffees, and you've got two of them. I'll put one of them here. Let's try this one. I love toffee. Oh, this is so caramelly and toffee like. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That smells so good as soon as you open it. Mmm. Oh, that is very good. Another one I'm going to be sucking on the entire video. Oh, I can chew it. It's chewy. I was worried it was a hard candy. Very rich toffee caramel flavor. Now that I finally devoured that. Um, Walker's Nonsuch Treckle Toffees. Harry Potter might have made treckle tarts famous. They're a dish commonly served in the Great Hall at Hogwarts. But the folks at Walker's Nonsuch have been making treckle toffee famous for decades. Made with real milk, butter, and molasses, slabs of these toffees are often served with miniature hammers so you can thoroughly destroy the toffee before eating it. If you have good aim, go ahead and pull out a hammer for this chewy, creamy, bite-sized version. And I can definitely see why they would pull out a, a hammer to break this apart, but it's not that hard. Um, it's chewy, so I could just see myself hitting this with a hammer and it's mashing to like a pancake. And the last thing we have are these little candies and they don't say anywhere on them what flavor they are. They are red and white stripes, so I'm thinking like a mint. Um, and they say Oatfield 
sweets since 1927. So they've got to be good, right? If they've been in business since 1927. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try one of these. Smells like candy. Oh, that's a weird flavor. I don't know if I like this. It's like a mint, but it's like menthol-y. I think I taste clove. Yeah. Ooh. Mm-mm. Clove is a flavor that goes great with ham, but not so much a candy. Ooh. Ooh. Oatfield clove drops. So they are clove. Okay. The oldest candy maker in Ireland, Oatfield, makes these uniquely flavored hard candies. The uniquely warm, sweet, and aromatic clove flavor of these boiled clove drops might remind you of the ultimate holiday treat, gingerbread. Bonus perks. Cloves can be used to help rid bad breath, so it's probably not a bad idea to pop one of these in your mouth after you've eaten the cheese and onion crisps. Well, there you have it. Those were not my favorite thing. I might trick my husband into eating this one and tell him it's like strawberries and cream flavored. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Overall, this box was amazing. I loved all of it except for the clove candies. Let's see what the clues are for the next box. The name of this country has spent less than a century in print. Stumped? There's a snack in this box that serves as a hint. It's not quite in the east and not quite in the west, but in terms of their snack, their snacks, they've got only the best. I am going to make a wild guess, and I'm gonna say turkey. That's the only thing I can think of is turkey. So maybe, let's let's see if I'm right, guys. Put it in the description box below. What do you think it could be? I think it's turkey. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with turkey. Thank you guys so much for watching my unboxing of the Universal Yums box. If you're interested, all the information will be down below if you want to subscribe. It is a very low monthly payment for this monthly subscription box. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it will be down below. It is totally worth it. I pay for this box out of my own pocket. It's one of the only subscription boxes I still have going through the holiday season. Highly recommend it. Check out the links down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!